back to the channel i'm richard fixer now today i'm gonna be answering a question posed by a subscriber the question is can the m32 daughter board be used to replace the x32 daughter board all right let's get into the video so the answer is yes the m32 and the x32 have similar architecture the difference though is that the daughter board with the SD card on it, the SD card for the firmware and the boot files, they are different. If you put a X M32 daughter board inside a X32 with the um, SD card of the M32, when you boot the screen, what you're gonna find out is that the M32 logo is gonna be on the screen and also, it might not function as intended. The, the, the buttons might function differently because the architecture is different. But what you can do is to get a X32 um, cloned X32 SD card and use it. And that will solve all the problem. Once you update to the latest firmware and you have the correct um, SD card, then it will work. And this work both ways. So you can replace an M32, um, sorry, an X32 daughter board in an M32. All you need to do is just switch out the SD cards and it will work perfectly. All right, so I'm gonna demonstrate that for you right now. All right, so these are some SD cards that I cloned from the M32 SD card, which is on this Midas board. And we see that this it's for the M32 because it has Midas. On the Behringer X32, it has the X32. If we should flip it over, we see that it stays just like the X32. The only difference is the, um, the SD card. So all you need to do, if you're gonna put this in an X32, all you need to do is to replace the SD card with an X32 SD card. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just replacing the SD card um, on this daughter board here, um, put in an M32 daughter board, and we're gonna show you how it boots. All right. Okay. All right. So, I'll close this down. I'm gonna turn it on. My screen is broken, but you'll actually see a part of the logo. All right. So let's power this up. Just look how it loads. All right, so light is on the screen, turns to white, screen start loading. But on, on the, as you can see from the left hand side, you're seeing a, the big M, it's not an X32. So this is Midas, so the logo will come up because that's a part of the architecture of the SD card. All right, it will take some time to load, but it will come up. It might have just different functioning because you have to update to the firmware for the X32. All right, so the mixer is up and this is the M32 SD card that's inside there. So what will happen is that when the screen is booting, you're gonna have the M32 sign or the logo. So all you need to do is just swap out the M32 SD card for a X32 SD card. Just to recap, so the MCU for the M32 can be used in the X32, all right? All we need to do is just to swap out the, the cards. Now, just to remind us that I have the cloned SD cards for both the M32 and the X32. So if you'd like one of these cards, just reach out to me via email and I will get in touch with you. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe and comment. Thank you.